Hello and welcome, buddies! In case you aren't currently looking at this video, I am Jester Dayrama. It's time to finally tell you about those characters you see on my social media pages. Credit to the artist is listed in the description. Being as American as I can be, let's go left to right for introductions. The black and white one with the purple horns? He's the one I got my name from. He's Jester K. Dayrama. The K is for kidding, so you know he's just kidding. <laughs> yes, I'm horrible with name puns. I originally designed him when I was 19, and he had my hair back then. No, I don't have a mohawk now. I do still have part of his original costume, or fursuit though. Some questions I've heard asking what he is have made guesses if he's a husky, skunk, badger, wolf, and probably a couple of other things I don't remember. But as the old art from me shows, not only was I super edgy, but it shows the original combination that made up his species name. The idea was that I pulled features from favored animals and put a dark twist on them while involving card suits for the design. At the time, my favorite animals were a hyena, fox, and jackal. I used formats of their names to come up with Hyvenine. I could have used canine for that last part, but insanity was all the rage for my teen years. I later claimed he was part weasel. Isn't science a wonderful thing? <laughs> I informally call this jester a shadow fox nowadays as a reference to an old username, and because he uses shadow magic, for lack of better words. Moving forward to his current ref sheet I drew a couple of years ago, you can see how I embellished on the different species and shadow element that makes him up. I wanted him to not be mistaken as a wolf, husky, or skunk again. Yeah, still pretty edgy, but if it helps, he's just a fun-loving guy. He's who I am in furry circles, but what's a furry? For those of you on the outside of the loop, do you know the game series Star Fox? Or TV shows Road Rovers, Street Sharks, and SWAT Cats? Oh, wait, those are some of my childhood favorites. How about the recent movie Zootopia? A furry is anthropomorphizing an animal, giving them human features like walking upright, wearing clothes, and speaking a recognizable language such as English. Everyone in the furry fandom will have their own lore for how the world works, but hopefully you get the idea. Alright, back to the mini collage. See those two on the right with their own toothy grins? Same character. How can that be? Well, thanks to the brony fandom that came from watching My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, I made an OC, or original character based on My Little Pony's version of Changelings. In the show, Changelings are bug-like ponies with the magical ability to change into almost anything, including personal disguises or other characters. That's why you see the black and white character with the red and blue eyes wearing my jester hat. In his Changeling form, he's nicknamed Shifty. The name came from a friend I made at Midwest Fur Fest back in 2012, a furry convention. I was going around in this old version of my changeling costume I made, calling myself Generic, since I was supposed to be a generic changeling. See how I am about those name puns again? Anyway, I went to a My Little Pony related panel at Midwest Fur Fest 2012, and my friend Steel pretty much dropped the name Shift on me because, after all, changelings shapeshift. The name stuck with brony friends I made, and I still get called Shifty. Now, my changeling's disguise, to keep from too many names, he's also named Jester de Rama. I gave him my hat because it matched, and I was going for a trademark besides the scarf both forms share. He can change his eye color in his disguise as one of his tricks. He's pretty much the MLP version of my furry persona, or persona, but with a different story that's a little personal. Before he was a changeling with a disguise of different eye colors, Jester was an entertainer that struggled with who he was and how happy he was. He ran away from home and ended up captured in a changeling hive to be converted to one of them. This actually turned out to be a rebirth as Jester not only retained his old personality, but he found a new joy in being able to be different characters and beings. He went rogue from the hive, much to their disappointment. Since we're in the realm of being different characters, I'll lastly introduce you to the Doctor in the upper right corner of this social media collage. If you're saying, you mean from Doctor Who? That's partially right. 
He's a character I voice in the audio play Doctor Who's an Assistant, hosted over at Ponies with Pockets Productions' YouTube channel that crosses the My Little Pony universe with Doctor Who. To be clear, I'm the second person to voice him, following my friend Keiko and Gilly, who voiced the Doctor of the series until Episode 9. I don't want to spoil anything, so the channel and series will be linked in the description of this video. There's even a spin-off of the main series called Jot's Journal. Give them a watch! Okay, I think that covers the characters on the front line of my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you next time. Love ya!